So welcome back to our eye ornament drawing tutorials. Uh, today I want to talk about layers and what you can do with them in eye ornament. So you see at the moment I'm using them to safely draw a pattern in the background while not having to care about the foreground and perhaps this is one of the main motivations you want to use layers in eye ornament and the layer model in eye ornament is a pretty simple one you have three drawing layers uh, that are stacked on top of each other and you simply choose in which layer you are drawing so you access the layer menu by this layer button here and here you select which of the layers you actually choose for drawing. So for instance, if I go to the lowest layer that is below everything I did so far, you can say I want to add some very dark and transparent color in the very background. And you see this now happens in the third layer, which is even below my glitter that I've uh, chosen before. So uh, this is perhaps everything you should know about layers in at first glance, uh, but there's more to them. So first of all, you have these three sliders and these three sliders allow to, uh, well, gradually dim the layers. So this here is my front layer that is now dimmed. This here is the middle layer and this here is the background layer. So if I take those two away, then I only see what I've done in the background layer. Uh, and so you can combine them uh, as you like. Uh, but you see this little extender triangle here and here is a whole world hiding. And I want to show you, uh, well, at least a first glimpse of what you can get uh, there. And one of the major choices that you have have here is this color setting. So you see you have three settings. You have color, effects and mode. And today I also want to talk about the color setting because the color setting allows you to post edit your colors. So let's go to the glitter layer here and change the saturation of the glitter layer. So you see I can go uh, to a very dim saturation and to a very fully saturated version. I can control the darkness of the uh, glitter layer and perhaps most importantly, I can control the hue of the glitter layer. And by that, you can uh, really go to a completely different color appearance of what you've done. Uh, so I started with quite warm colors. And now let's change the same ornament here to something uh, that is more of the cold color type. So let's do it like that. And perhaps change the hue here still a bit more and take away the saturation. And you see behind this one pattern that I've drawn, uh, there is a multitude of different other patterns uh, that are hidden in your ornament. So I really can recommend load some of your ornaments and play with these sliders. And this is one thing I want to do at the end of this tutorial. I simply want to go to some of my own favorite uh, stored ornaments. And so let me take this pattern here, which is actually one one of my favorite uh, creations, similar drawing style as before. So let's play a little bit with the color sliders of that particular creation. And I think it's drawn with the second and third layer here. So let's go to a more warm color here. Let's make it more saturated. Let's now go to the glitter layer here and move that to a colder color style and you you see behind one ornament there are many 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 different others and uh, once more uh, keep on playing keep on doodling see each other in our next tutorial